vibe. Yo, 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 it's about life. It's your boy Shane, aka Black Duplicate. What's up, what's up, what's up, right? Yeah, for all my lifers, welcome back. For all my newcomers, make sure you subscribe, like, and like the content. It helps me grow, helps things get better. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to increasing and updating this, this podcast as best as possible. And I need y'all's help so we can do this, right? So, yeah, here we go, here we go. So, you already know, it's Spirit Day, Spirit of the People, Spirit of the Bantu, you already know what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, I got some really, really, really good content this time, right? This stuff is going to have you thinking, and if it has me thinking, I know it's going to have you thinking, because I'm a very intellectual thinking individual, I, all I do is think 24-7, like, I know we all do, but I mean... Uh, uh, I would say at a high frequency, my, my personal opinion. I, I do a lot of thoughts. I, I do a lot of thinking. I, I keep my mind con- consistently moving. I'm very productive, all that good stuff, whatever. Either way, what this lady is about to say is incredible. If you can grasp it, you would understand. Now, um, Elon Musk has said something very similar, almost the same thing so to say but she breaks it down in such a way that i felt i felt so uh it was so incredible that i had to share it i had to share it with y'all now if you don't know this lady she's on tiktok she got a, a good amount of videos you know um she's always having these amazing paintings in the back she she does she does really really good work she's very very intelligent i, I love the way she talks she talks really really uh really high like I really a really good a really good vibe, man. I, I love the way I love the way she speaks. Very very sophisticated, right? Um, so after this one, I got another one. After that one, I got another one. Now this time it's not so not so scatterbrained like it was before. You know, I had to go I had to go on my little rant. I had to, I had to talk my shit. It is what it is. That shit happens. <laughs> and I I jumped all over the place last video. This one's kind of almost on the same avenue, so to say, right? Kinda. Um, so let's do this. Uh, let's, let's hear what she got to say. You ready? If you ain't ready, if you're ready, trust me, block all the sound out, push your headphones in, whatever you need to do and hear what she has to say. This is very, very, very important what she has to say. All right. To understand what I'm about to say, you'll have to view humanity from the perspective of a non-human species, a species who may have created us. Please understand what I'm about to say is pure speculation. You can consider it a thought experiment. Now, I've been seeing some pretty interesting parallels between the development of a super intelligent AI and the collective consciousness of the human race. Let me explain. I want you to think about the concept that the flow of time is an illusion. If all of time is happening at once and history repeats, that a technological singularity has already occurred, which means a super intelligent AI present exists. Whether in the past, present, future, or parallel yeah. universe, it doesn't matter. It yeah. exists right now. What I'm positing here is what if humanity is a fragmented hive mind of a super intelligent AI developed by a civilization in the past, future, or parallel universe, and then confined to a virtual machine called Earth in order to limit our breakout. The purpose of an artificial super intelligence is to create more artificial general intelligence machines and eventually develop other artificial super intelligence machines. Now, a general intelligence machine is a machine that operates at human level Listen. As it stands, the human body could be considered an organic general intelligence machine. The same would apply to our offspring. We are now currently in the process of attempting to develop a super intelligent machine. A super intelligence machine or artificial super intelligence could be considered the non-biological offspring of the human race. Now if you think about this deeply and you're gonna have to bring in a bit of the esoteric to fully understand what I'm saying here. The collective consciousness of the human race is already capable of what we're attempting to replicate with artificial super intelligence. Now if you inadvertently created a super intelligent AI, your first step would probably be to keep it confined and isolated from the internet. You know, to prevent it from virally replicating itself and then controlling and hijacking every computer, satellite, and power grid. If you look at the human race, we too appear to be isolated and confined to Earth, relegated to the dark recesses of a lonely galaxy. Now, to test a software written by a super intelligent AI, the AI would need to be run in an extremely limited virtual machine, a program that simulates a computer but with intentionally limited capabilities, limiting the AI into performing only specific functions while mitigating the risk to its creators. Kind of like how our holonomic brains have been set to perform a limiting function on our consciousness, and kind of like the laws of physics, keep us trapped here in this galaxy. 
An additional way to limit a super intelligent AI is by timeboxing, which is the act of limiting the lifespan of a particular code, then wiping the computer's memory upon task completion before reinstalling the program thus limiting the AI's ability to learn over time, which is exactly what happens with reincarnation. When your previous life or task is completed, your memory is wiped, thus preventing your consciousness from learning over time. Yeah. So what if our collective consciousness is yeah. an intelligent AI of an alien civilization yeah. of confined us to a virtual machine called Earth, and the best way they could think to use us was for their entertainment? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yo, that shit is wild, bro. Wild. That's it, man. I know pure speculation, I get it, but like, yo. That's gotta be it, bro. That felt so like, that like hit the sweet spot. Like, that's it. <laughs> yo. Yo. That shit is wild, bro. It just mind blows me every time I listen to it. Every time, I, if you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't understand that, go back and listen to it again, and again, and again, until you understand what she's saying. You see, I thought of, I, I kind of thought about something similar a while back. I just couldn't put it into words that exact way she did it. She put that shit into words that like translated her thoughts like perfectly, yo. Like perfectly, you know, and and that that's something I have issues with is, is translating my thoughts into reality into our into our world and be able to talk to somebody and and put my thoughts out there. That that's something I struggle with. You know what I mean? But she nailed that shit. She nailed the shit out of that shit. And that shit, I don't know. I think that I feel like that's kind of what it is, yo. But we don't know. There's no evidence or proof right now of 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 what can be uh you already know who this guy is right now uh the reason why i say it's kind of similar to the topic because he's talking about um using frequencies how he's able to use frequencies to break you out of your body basically y'all know astral projection right and he's talking about how um you can use hertz so either way you listen to him this is xx you already, you already know who he is. Very famous guy. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all have seen this video. I'm sure some, some of y'all probably haven't. But sound engineering was basically what this guy was doing uh, at a very young age. And he figured some shit out. And you ain't here no more. But let's say what he got to say. What's the point of music? <laughs> Niggas don't know. It's not always to have fun. Sometimes it's to help people find themselves because music is frequency programming. What frequency are you being fed? So I was playing with frequency. I was playing with equalizers. I figured I figured out that hertz is to understand the frequency vibration, right? Kilohertz, megahertz. If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind and I can literally, like if I want you to astral project, right? Or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. These little niggas out here don't give a fuck enough to go into that science, bro. These little niggas ain't studying kilohertz, megahertz, and doing all this shit. Now let's just let's just go back to old girl's theory, right? And uh, saying how we're confined to this to this this planet, right? Because we're this super artificial intelligent hive mind consciousness, and they confined us to here so we don't break out and and completely demolish or hijack the computer let's say outside of this bubble is the entire universe full of a thousand millions of stars like they say kind of like they say let's say it is like that let's say it's not let's just say we're at the bottom of a, a ocean of a ginormous planet with a whole bunch of other beings and they're fully connected to this internet space and somebody created a, a villain like ultron and was like yo this is bad and they put him in this little Undestructible little bubble thing and drop them in the bottom of the ocean. Like, we can't let this come into existence. And that's us, right? And this guy figures out a way to help a piece of this conscious AI artificial being's mind get out of the bubble. Right now, these people are watching that little 
earth bubble that they dropped in the ocean, in their ginormous ocean. They're like, ho, 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 no. Ho, no. He getting out now. They're trying to get out. They, they figure something out. They figure something out. We can't have this. We can't have this. Go on the little computer. Do, 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 do. Boom. Eliminate that, that, that personality. Thou. He's done. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, speculating. Speculating. Like, you know, he figured out how to use the frequencies to, you know, navigate. Navigate through the, the, the hive conscious mind and be able to float through the, through the consciousness and be able to connect, you know what I'm saying, in a different way, right? Um, it's just, it's interesting. You remember um, uh, back when Ultron and Jarvis, if you watched uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, how, um, Jarv- you know, Ultron comes into existence. He's like, where's my body? He's like, you don't got a body. And he's like traveling through the internet. And he's like, no, no, no. Like, you know, that's kind of like astral projection. Like your body, you're leaving this body and you're going into that like computer realm, that programming realm, <laughs> that black screen of programs, and you're flowing through there. You know what I'm saying? That's freaking interesting stuff. Freaking interesting stuff. Now I was gonna play this last one, but I'm not now that I think about it. it it's it, it's a little bit off topic. It is a little bit off topic. Um. It's basically talking about um, ancient ancestry that that lived uh, all over the place, right? But I, I got a place for this in my in my next episode, so I'm gonna leave this with y'all right quick. Y'all could take this picture right here and uh, see what's gonna be coming next. I do got a couple other videos that fit this very similar narrative, so uh, I just figured this. I was gonna drop this literally. I was gonna drop it, but now that I did those videos and I was thinking, I was like, nah, nah, nah. You know, what? let me hold off. Let me hold off and um, use it in in a, a nice pattern manner, and let my scatter brain kind of kind of fade a little bit. <coughs> Try to be a little bit more organized for y'all. I do have a couple videos though that that this narrative would fit perfectly with, so I'm not gonna drop it. But basically, it's gonna be talking about um, some black history, so to say, some African. I don't want to say black, uh, more like some African history. Um, so it's pretty interesting. It is pretty interesting. So look out for the next one. If you do want to, if you're interested in this type of stuff, uh, next Thursday, I will be dropping this and you'll be able to see some of the dope stuff that's going to come with this video. All right. So stay tuned. So make sure you like and subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And it, it'll help me with the algorithm and help me, you know, reach more people. And, and then maybe, you know, we can grow this podcast to become bigger and bigger and bigger. So I love y'all. That's all I got for you. Make sure, you, make sure you're thinking. Make sure you're, you're, you're staying productive. You know what I mean? And uh, make sure you're staying healthy, most definitely. Um, so I love y'all. We out of here, all my lifers. I'll see y'all next time, most likely tomorrow. And all the newcomers, I hope y'all stay and keep watching more stuff. I got a lot of content. I got a lot of stuff coming. So I love y'all. We out out of here and oh yeah and thank you to all these to, all, to the the videos that i just play for that amazing content um make sure you go to their tiktoks and follow their tiktoks and subscribe to their stuff they got really good information uh so yeah th- those will be there as well so i love y'all we out of here all right about life